Oh, two. Sorry. How can get up here? I need you. I knew that. There they are. Okay, I'm gonna call up Thomas, please. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for inviting us to this wonderful party. Uh, we drove from Los Angeles. took us quite a while <laughs> through the traffic, but we just got here, and we're so happy to be here. Um, what uh, Winona was telling everyone is we're doing a film called Red Man's View. This is a remake of a 1909 silent film, and our film is going to be very unique. We have a all Native American cast, um, our main cast. Uh, some of are here. Saginaw Grant is with us. Rick Mora is here. And we are so proud to have these wonderful actors and people of the Native American community involved in this wonderful film that's going to show the true history of the Native American people. It's one of the few that's ever been done that shows the truth. We also have got to do a shameless plug. We also have Mike and Eddie Spears in it. We have Zon McLaren in it. We have Shannon and Shauna Baker in it. We have so many wonderful people involved in this. But what we're really proud of is to have Saginaw Grant, who is our elder, and I'm we all love it, Saginaw. <laughs> and because of this film, and because of Saginaw's wonderful participation in this, we have a special gift for him. And this is Anthony Jenny, and he is a local Los Angeles artist. And if you don't mind, if Cher doesn't mind, we'd love for Saginaw to come up. And this is from all of us from Red Man's View. This is a very special thing for you, Saginaw, out of respect and out of our love for you and for you to be involved in this film. And you can go ahead and present it to Saginaw. This is an oil painting done of Saginaw as Chief Great Eagle, which is his role in our film Red Man's View. And it is an oil painting that was done by this talented artist for Mr. Grant. Yes, sir. There you go. You know, a couple of months ago, maybe longer than that, I was uh, approached to have a part in this movie. And it, it makes me feel good because this is my endeavor, is to keep our traditions and tell about our culture. I think that one of the things that I really want to get out of this is that I want the government of the United States of America to apologize to my people yes. for the treatment that they received. <laughs> you know, this apology was done up in Canada to the First Nations Parliament. They apologized for the treatment that their ancestors gave our ancestors. And this is a this is the point I want to make our government do. You know, they know all the things that they did to our people because it's it's written down. They can't deny it. I don't know why they can't say or so.